everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz, and in today's video, we're going to be making over some furniture pieces. I have been really busy doing some furniture pieces for around my house, so I have a lot to show you today, so let's get started. The first project we're going to be working on is a bench that I wanna put at my kitchen table. I grabbed this pre-made bench at Ikea and I'm going to add to it and make it perfect for my kitchen table. To assemble the pieces, you wanna take out all the pieces from the box. Then I'm gonna use the four smaller pieces and I'm gonna put the wood pegs in the sides. Next, I'm gonna screw in my side pieces with the Fantex Nexel One Pro. I wanna thank Fantex for sponsoring today's video. The Nexel One Pro is a digital electric screwdriver that uses variable speed. I'm able to adjust the arrow on it and it'll let me know which direction the screwdriver is going. You can also change the setting torque depending on whatever job you're doing. So if I have more of a heavy duty job, I'll make it higher. And if I'm doing something light, I'll go with like a one. For this job, I'm gonna go with a six, the highest level. I'm gonna screw in both sides of the board with the Nexel One Pro. I really like for my kitchen chairs to have like a cushion on them. So I'm going to be adding a foam piece. So I picked up two inch foam. You can get this at any craft store. And then I'm going to set the actual top piece of the wood bench on top of there. And then I'm gonna trace around it with a marker. Now to cut out your foam, I do it two ways. One, you can just use a simple pair of scissors and cut it out. Another more fancier way is to use like an electric kitchen knife. So I have one of these because I've used it before, but honestly, I use a combination of both. I'll usually use the electric knife for the top and then I'll use my scissors to cut off the rest of the way. I picked up some outdoor fabric that was 70% off at Joann's and that's what I'm gonna be using to cover my bench with. I just grabbed a yard with it. And since it's an outdoor fabric, it's really durable and I think it'll be great for my kitchen. So I'm gonna place down my fabric. I made sure that I ironed it so it was nice and straight. And then I'm gonna put down my foam and then on top of that's gonna be that top board. Next, I'm gonna pull up the two long sides and just use my staple gun to hold them in place. After you do that, you can cut off any of the extra fabric that you don't need. And then to do the ends, I'm just going to tuck them in, staple them in place, and then I'll just staple the middle portion. I like to cut off any extra fabric because you don't need that. Then I'm going to place the base legs down and I'm gonna make sure that I have access to all the screw holes. So if I need to cut some fabric, I will. Now to screw these in place, I need to change out the bit on my Next L1 Pro. That's really easy to do because it has a shark drill lock design allowing me to release and lock the drill bit and it clicks right in place with just one single click. I'm gonna put the drill bit on that I need and then I'll just use the drill to screw it in place. I love how the Nexel One Pro is palm size and it's lightweight, so it's not gonna become cumbersome whenever I'm working. It also has a really long battery life and the charge only takes one and a half hours and you can simply plug it in with a USB cord. So go ahead and check the link down in the description box so you can check out the Nexel One Pro for yourself. And right now they're offering up a 45% off discount. So you really wanna go check it out. 
Here's a look at how my bench turned out and looks at my kitchen table. Now you guys know whenever you're at the thrift store and you just find the most perfect piece, well that is how I felt whenever I came across this nightstand and I knew that it would be perfect in my daughter Annabelle's room that I'm currently doing a makeover on. So immediately I had an idea in mind for how I was gonna modernize this piece. So I decided to take out the front metal grate from this nightstand. Now I really wanted to add in some cross pieces to make a really cool X. So I'm gonna use my tape measure to measure down how far I want the X's to go down because I'm going to be doing three X's. So I just wanna make sure that they were equal distances on both sides. So I'm gonna be using some bamboo skewers that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use my hot glue to hot glue the bamboo sticks in place. Now, as I was doing this, I realized it would be a lot easier if it was sitting flat. So I unscrewed it and started doing it with it laying flat on my table and it went a lot better. I used a lot of construction strength hot glue to just really hold everything in place. Next, I painted the outside of my cabinet with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. I had my husband cut out a thin piece of plywood that I could use as a backing behind the X's that I had just made. I decided the easiest option would be to spray paint the door and the backing versus trying to paint them with the chalk paint. So I took them out and I used a flat spray paint and did two coats of spray paint. Next, I wanted it to have a little bit of a distressed finish, plus it's going in my daughter's room, which means it's going to get dinged up. So I decided to add in some dark wax by Annie Sloan. So I'm just going to lightly wipe it in the edges and areas that would naturally be distressed. Now, if you get too much, what you can do is you can take your clear wax and wipe that excess dark wax off. I added some E6000 to the backing. And then I used some clamps. I let it sit on the back overnight so it had a chance to dry before I did anything with it. I also added a coat of polyurethane to the top. I just felt like with it being a nightstand, it was gonna get a lot of wear. So I think that will help protect it. And here's a look at how the nightstand turned out in my daughter's room. Also in my daughter Annabelle's room, I needed a dresser in there and my mom had one that she was willing to part with that we could use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean off my piece. It's a little dusty and I need to clean it. I'm actually gonna be using a new paint for me. If you guys watch my painting secrets video, I was talking about wanting to try some new paints and I went with this General Finishes Milk Paint for this project. I really like their top coat, so I decided to try out some of their paints. Annabelle wanted to go with Perfect gray. She liked that gray color. So that's what we're going to paint it. So with this paint, 
it does recommend wiping it down and then also sanding it before. So I'm going to do a light sanding and then I'm going to wipe the piece down. So we'll do that first and then we'll get started with painting. I decided to add two coats of this milk paint to my dresser. Now the directions recommended sanding lightly between each coat and I did do that. I didn't see a huge difference in it so I don't know if I'll do that next time but I wanted to follow the directions completely. I have to tell you guys, I was really impressed with this paint and I'll definitely try other colors from this line. I'm gonna link it down in the description box along with everything that you've seen in this video plus everything I'm wearing so that you guys can check out that paint as well. Now, it did say on the directions you don't need to seal it, but this was my daughter's room and if you guys have kids, you know they bang up furniture. So I decided to go ahead and do one coat of sealer on the top and the drawers. And I'm glad that I did because I feel like it needed it. I feel like in the long run, I'm going to need that sealer. To screw in the knobs on my daughter's dresser, I'm gonna use my Fantex Nex L1 Pro. And since this job is a little bit lighter, I'm going to move it down to a speed of two because for lighter jobs, you don't have to have such high speed. I'm gonna move it down to a two and screw in all of the handles. And here's a look at how my daughter's dresser turned out in her room. got some great inspiration. Let me know down in the comments which of these three projects was your favorite. I don't know, it's hard for me to pick. I do really like the nightstand and the way that it turned out, but I love knowing your opinion. If you'd like to try out my Fantex Nexel One Pro, check down in the description box. And if you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed. I post two DIYs each week and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. And if you missed our last one, I'll link it here for you and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.